friends good evening uh, today i would like to do very important uh, subject uh, which is a, a divisional chart d10 uh, which is called dashamsha so dashamsha plays a prominent role in giving in depth details of uh, uh, what a person does uh, whether he does business or job so many people have this question okay um, will i be successful in job or uh, business so uh, in my sense uh, it's not at all a, it's not even a right question because uh, the business job the means of earning of an individual is because of his fate it comes from your from your past as a fortune that's how an individual is able to survive so coming to uh, d10 uh, the d10 chart is calculated by dividing each sign into 10 equal parts so each sign has 30 degrees so when you divide it becomes to 3 degrees so this particular 3 degree frame is mapped to a specific rashi in the uh, while calculating the shamsha so that is how the shamsha is uh, computed so suppose you have a planet venus okay in your rashi chart so where exactly in which frame it is if we you know, suppose venus is in leo in if we divide leo into 10 equal, equal parts uh, venus should be positioned in a particular uh, frame so that particular frame actually resolves to a different sign in dashamsha this is how dashamsha is computed for all the planets Uh, usually like uh, when you look at rashi chart uh, we get a clue okay uh, whether this person uh, is doing business or uh, service uh, but uh, nowadays uh, i think at least uh, for the last uh, 20 years uh, the trend actually it has been changed uh, with the concept of this uh, globalization so a, a person may pursue uh, different businesses are different jobs at a time there are many freelancing jobs there are many free freelancing uh, business opportunities as well so some people they do mix of it business and job so it is very difficult to analyze and conclude just basing on uh, rashi chart so it is something like you know when i ask someone where are you so i am in india so that's it that that's a rashi chart so where are you in india so i am in uh, north india in delhi in so and so colony so that's what the shamsha is about it gives specifics of what this particular individual is doing so there are uh, key houses and planets uh, that play a key role significant role in deciding uh, one's uh, uh, profession whether it is job or uh, business so uh, the 10th lord in d1 chart plays a key role in in d10 chart and also planet saturn what is saturn so saturn is uh, discipline saturn is uh, restriction saturn is service Uh, saturn is uh, subordinism so if any one's chart either it is in d1 or d10 if saturn is very strong chances are very high the, that this person uh, does service he does a job so that's the difference between uh, doing a doing a job and uh, doing a business so in business most of the times you know you are your own boss but in service it's not like that you should be working under someone so saturn is a planet actually that makes you discipline go through a systematic way work under someone and get the appreciation so whatever be the appreciation fame name honor that you receive that is because of planet sun so we need to see planet saturn 
planet sun d10 lord and and a planet sitting in 10th house in the rashi chart so where where the planet is positioned d10 that also gives a clue about a person's so a profession okay so now coming to the uh, d10 chart analysis okay suppose uh, so for for career profession work we see 10th house okay for business we do we see 7th house and for service we see 6th house okay uh, suppose the 10th lord is connected to 6th or 8th house strongly then it is likely that you know this person takes up employment if 10th lord is strongly connected with the uh, 7th house then it means that this person is a businessman and also we need to see the dignity of saturn if saturn is connected to either 6th house or 10th house or 8th house it makes a person um, pursue employment work under someone because 8th house also shows uh, struggle so 6th house shows service so the planet uh, uh, the 10th house lord in d1 chart where the planet is positioned in d10 that gives a clue the first thing what the person does the other thing is if the 10th lord is connection with uh, either 6th house or 8th house this person takes up employment if the 10th lord is in connection with 7th house this person does business so now we see different different professions so uh, usually uh, data is used to study about uh, a person's profession whether he is uh, uh, whether he does a job or business but uh, in many cases in many charts i have observed this thing also um, i could see education in d10 chart because nowadays uh, like all is interlinked the the foundation for your career the path for your career it's actually laid out when you are in either in uh, you know 10th standard or whether you are doing your plus 2 during that time itself uh, the foundation is made so d10 uh, looking uh, looking at uh, the dignity in the planets positioned in fifth house also gives a clue what profession this person takes up now now we now let us uh, see the patterns like what are the different positions what are the different combination of planets the, you know uh, that could trigger different different professions or businesses uh, in that in the d10 chart okay so for uh, it job the 12th the 10th house should be connected to 12th house and rahu in the in the d10 chart and also we need to see the strength of uh, second house because uh, people who work in it uh, they make big money compared to people who work in non it sectors that is one thing the other thing is uh, 12th house always stands for uh, Uh, foreign companies foreign companies uh, that are operating out of india and also 12th house uh, indicates uh, a long term stay in a remote place so for it engineers we need to see these combinations the 10th lord so uh, connection with uh, 12th house and uh, also uh, rahu rahu's so uh, influence on 10th house or 10th lord and uh, For, for a doctor okay uh, for a doctor we need to see uh, 10th lord connection with 6th uh, either 8th or 12th house uh, we need to consider the planet uh, mars because mars is a surgeon and we need to see uh, mercury because uh, mercury is a natural 6th lord so uh, mercury mars uh, connection Uh, strongly connected to uh, eighth or twelfth houses, along with tenth house, makes a person a surgeon, a doctor. Because why eighth house is involved means uh, uh, eighth house uh, actually it signifies uh, healing. 
you can't become a doctor unless you are a healer that is one thing and ethos also represents uh, digging deep like which is you know that's what the surgeons do uh, 12th house uh, is a uh, hospitals rehabilitation centers labs so these are all seen from uh, 12th house so 10th 10th lord's connection with uh, 12 8 6 uh, and the planets so uh, mars mercury and rahu makes a person a doctor and for lawyers uh, mars and saturn so strong connection mars saturn jupiter these three planets strong connection to 10th house makes a person a lawyer because uh, Ma Ma mars is an aggressive person uh, who can make arguments because that's the nature of uh, a lawyer job and uh, for business finance so we need to see mercury and also there are certain signs and stars they are known for uh, business trading and all so if 10th lord is connected to those kind of uh, planets and uh, signs then that that person actually uh, pursues a successful uh, career in uh, business finance uh, trading uh, securities so uh, whatever we do so okay person does either a, either a job or a business okay how can we how can we say that you know the results are fruitful the result of uh, the hardships the hard work this that person puts in uh, in his service or business so we need to see 11th house the second house 11, because the uh, second house also shows bank balance uh, 11th house uh, shows fulfillment of uh, desire uh, which is extension of uh, 10th house so if the 10th lord or 10th house has a strong connection with 11th and uh, uh, second houses then yes this person is uh, successful or 7th lord is, uh, is has a strong connection with 11th house and the second house yes this person will succeed in uh, business will make lot of money so we need to see uh, for people uh, who work as uh, who who undertake jobs uh, who are in employment so we need to see sixth house also sixth house also plays a major role uh, in detent chart the planet sitting in uh, sixth house if saturn is uh, connected to sixth house then this person does a routine job for many years unless the degree of ravi's uh, uh, sun is good um, he won't see much success in life so the dignity the strength of uh, sun is also very important so friends uh, this is my analysis about uh, d10 the samsha chart if you like my video please click on like button and also subscribe to my video so if you are looking for more information about uh, d10 uh, please visit my website trending astro and uh, we have a special page uh, for our uh, d10 chart please visit the page thank you